Welcome back to the channel. It's another week. I actually just got off of work. It's 8.20. We're gonna go inside of this Target that I haven't been to in a while. It's across town. I don't come out this way that too often, but I decided to make my way over here. There's also a Walmart across the road. I may hit that up as well, but let's go inside of Target. Let's see what they got. So up here in the front card section, nothing too crazy. A lot of the same stuff here, Temporal Forces. Paradox Rift, Shrouded Fable. Uh, you know, got Lorcana, the treasure chest. Some more Shrouded Fable over here, which I will talk about later. They do have these tins down here, look pretty cool. Some more collection boxes down there. And they actually had two packs of One Piece left here. Kind of thinking about picking those up. I don't even, ever, I don't think I've ever watched One Piece, but I know a lot of people are looking for One Piece, so that's kind of cool. They do have these Pokeball tins here. Nothing too crazy, these are a24 let me know down below if you open those up what are in those i don't know but uh yeah nothing too crazy over here so let's go check out the back i am pretty big into the simpsons line the new simpsons line i haven't picked up any of those yet but they do have the smaller figures here which i'm not collecting i'm collecting the uh five inch figures which they're all out of but uh still really cool that Jax is putting out these new simpsons figures just need to find the bigger ones and over in this card section nothing too crazy here but there is some pokemon 151 down there which is tempting lots of elite trainer boxes there some crown zenith up here more pokeball tins but i think i'm gonna open up some more twilight masquerade in today's video but i'm gonna wait till we go to walmart to see what we have over there but still pokemon 151 pretty cool shadow fable no and then uh, they have more of these ev tins which i did open up one of those we'll talk about that later and then just a bunch of other random things here. They do have these, don't buy those, total scam. But anyways, yeah, this is everything they have here at uh, this Target. All right, so Target didn't really have anything too crazy. Now I'm across the way over here at this Walmart. We're gonna see what they have. But by the way, does your Target have video games? Because this Target, while they have loads and loads of collectibles and tons and tons of Funko Pops, their video game section is very, very empty. It's kind of strange. The Target near where I live, they have plenty of video games, but this one for some reason never has many video games at all. It's kind of strange, but let me know down below. Let's go inside this Walmart. Let's see what they got. All right, so here at this Walmart, pretty much the same kind of stuff like at Target, but they do have these uh, Shrouded Fable mini tin. Those are kind of interesting. And they have Temporal Forces booster bundles there. Kind of cool. Some more Shadow Fable right there. They do have these Mystery Power Cubes, which are definitely a ripoff. Don't ever buy those. They have three pack blisters, Shadow Fable. That's tempting. I think what's really tempting, though, for me is probably some more Temporal Forces or Twilight Masquerade if I can find it. But again, nothing too crazy here. Let's go check the toy aisle and see what they have back there. So back here on the toilet aisle, a lot of Pokemon 151. They got the Zapdos box, Alakazam right there, which is really tempting. Elite Trainer box, some Paldean Fates over here, stackable tins, Pokeballs, uh, this Mystery Power box, which I think I've opened up before. And then just a bunch of single packs here. These sleeves right here are actually pretty cool. New sleeves, those, are, those look pretty awesome. Some Brilliant Stars, three packs right here, which are also pretty tempting, but other than that, that's pretty much it here. Nothing too crazy down here. This Tyranitar is pretty cool though. Really enjoying that. And down here, no Simpsons figures, but they do have these smaller ones here. They actually have Ned Flanders, which is pretty cool. But I don't see any of the bigger ones, so that's that's it for that. So I'm gonna make a decision and let's see. We'll see what I pick up. So I'm back home and I actually went back to Target, kept it simple, and I picked up a Twilight Masquerade three pack blister. We're going to open this up right here in just a second, but I do want to say before we get into the opening, stay tuned for this Wednesday. I am starting a new series of videos where I'm basically just going to be showing you things that I pick up throughout the week. That's not like Pokemon related. So it'll probably be like video games, toys, stuff like that. So stay tuned this Wednesday, new video. But anyways, let's open up some Twilight Masquerade and see if we can pull the Greninja illustration rare. All right. So here we are. This Twilight Masquerade three pack blister with the Reverum Black Star promo right there. Absolutely beautiful looking card. We're gonna get into this right now. Change up the background a little bit. I was Elite Trainer boxes. So here we go. Let's see what we can do. Hopefully, we can pull something cool 
for this video. Kept it simple, didn't want to go too crazy. I thought about picking up that Pokemon 151 Alakazam box, but I don't know. I'd rather pull the Greninja illustration rare. There's a code card if you want it. I'd rather pull, I'd rather pull the illustration rare for the, the for Twilight Masquerade, the Greninja. So here we go. Check this out. Absolutely beautiful card. Love the hollow pattern. They should just keep these for the regular sets. I don't know why they just do it for the promo, but I guess that's what, that's why they're promos because they're special and they have the special hollow pattern. Really cool looking card. Love that. So here we go. Three packs of Twilight Masquerade. I actually really enjoy this set. So let's see what we can do here. Let's start off with this one right here. Oh, can't forget. A Festival of Mischief and Mystery. Again, just thank you for the continued support on the channel. If you enjoy all things Pokemon, I bring you one video every single Sunday on everything I find throughout the week Pokemon related. So here we go. And again, stay tuned for this Wednesday. I will be starting a new series of videos. More of a relaxed video, just showing you what I pick up, you know, ever so often. Just my pickup. So here we go. In this opening three packs, let's see what we can do here. Feebas to start this one off. And again, yeah, I'm just not into Shrouded Fable. I don't think I'll be opening up any more. There's just no cards in there that I really care for besides the illustration rares. There's a couple. But even then, I, you know, anything else, it just wouldn't really do it for me. So probably won't be picking any more up uh, in the near future. So here we go. Iron Bundle. Let's see what we can do here. Festival Grounds. Sandshrew Reverse. And a Monkey Dory Hollow. Okay, so nothing in that pack. I'll put that over here. Next pack up. Here we go. Let's see what we can do. Let me know what you've been opening up recently comment down below let me know would absolutely love that and another reason i won't open up any more shadow fable shout out to uh, old man jake he opens up a lot on his uh, instagram and yeah the pull rates are absolutely horrible for that set lots of dud packs and i just i don't know i'd rather just open up something else and have a better chance of pulling something good so anyways here we go to you lucky helmet Leafeon, beautiful looking Leafeon. Swirlix, okay. And an Infernape Hollow. Oh my gosh. Nothing in the second pack. And that, just like that, we're down to our last pack of Twilight Masquerade. A set that actually I enjoy a lot. I'm just, just like everybody else, I'm sitting around waiting for Stellar Crown, which will be an amazing Pokemon card set. I cannot wait to get into that. Here we go. Last pack. Starting off with a Shinx. See if we can end this off with a bang. Clefairy. Varum. Whoa, don't want to skip a card. Volbeat. Nice looking art there. Sunflora. That's a cool art like that. Boomerang Energy. Rayfort. Poochiena. Palafin. And to end this opening in three, two, one. Oh, a Frost Last Hollow. So a dud three pack blister. But anyways, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please check me out on Instagram and Twitter. Again, stay tuned this Wednesday for a new series of videos. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace.